What is up, Drama Alert Nation? I'm your host, Keller. Come say, let's get right into the news. For our first story today, this is going to be a big news day. Just know there's a lot of news to get through, you know what I'm saying? We haven't talked to news about news in a little bit because um, I've been on vacation. Um, now, for our first, first, first story today, the artist Post Malone, Posty, says that he has never, ever, ever done hard drugs in his entire life, ever. He has never once done horror drug drugs in his entire life bro ever now i'm not gonna hold you uh i don't know this is factor cap can't save his factor cap on news but we're gonna go ahead and leave that for the community to decide on whether that is factor cap so um shout out to post malone now shout out to post malone now for our next 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 story i don't know if we talked about this but woman who tossed her 36G bra at Drake now is in talks with Playboy. For our next, next, next story. 11 year old girl, just 11 years old, is arrested for falsely reporting friend was kidnapped in YouTube challenge. I'm not gonna hold you folks, it's absolutely getting very, very, very ridiculous out here. You know what I'm saying? We really, really, really doing real world crimes on YouTube and it's reflecting on the youth. This is crazy. I'm not gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? Um, You want a video with this? I don't, I don't, I ain't gonna, wait, hold on. Actually, we're gonna watch the video. We're gonna watch the video though. Hold on, let me see. Morning, an urgent reminder for parents to track what their kids are doing on social media. An 11-year-old, if you can believe that, has been put in handcuffs after Volusia County, Florida deputies say she led them on a wild goose chase after reporting, get this, a fake kidnapping. We have Fox 35 Orlando's Randy Hildreth. She is live for us. And Randy, deputies say she told them that she got the idea from a challenge on YouTube. Is that right? Yeah, and they did not and do not find this funny. Uh, this morning, she's waking up here at the Volusia County Juvenile Detention Center. Damn. As you mentioned, she was handcuffed, brought here because of, course, Florida, of the I'm not situation. The deputies worked up and down I-95 yesterday trying to find... Whoever's car that is, he's an asshole. I'm not going to wait till news. They got an alert about someone who had been kidnapped. Uh, they even put the chopper up to try to find this person. Turns out there was no person after all. And as you mentioned, uh, they said that the young girl said that she was inspired, if you will, to developing this morning an urgent That's reminder tough, for Dad. parents to track. That is very, 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 and very, very, very tough. Um, yeah, parents got to do a better track of the parents got to do a better job of tracking what their kids is watching and doing because that's actually wild. I don't even know how that even happened. Um, for our next, next story, for those of y'all who are playing COD, um, Nicki Minaj playable character is in Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? Will you be using the skin? Yes or no? Let us know down in the comments down below. You know what I'm saying? Uh, here's the character skin in question. So uh, let us know. Yeah, okay. Um, for our next, next, next story, an Arizona girl missing since 2019 just walks into the police station. She's now 18 years old and she has asked cops to remove her off the missing children's list. Um, I'm not gonna hold you. There's a lot of speculation behind this. Ooh. Do y'all think that she went missing on purpose? Do y'all think like someone she was kidnapped? Like, what do y'all think happened? A lot of people are speculating that maybe she went like she just wanted to leave and she legally is now removing herself off the missing uh children's list nobody actually knows what's going on i'm not gonna hold you but what do y'all feel like is actually actually happening here um interesting interesting story for our next 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 story a father forces son 11 years old he's 11 years old to get this 
play video games for 17 hours without sleep after catching him playing games for at, uh, at 1 a.m. I don't know what type of reverse psychology shit this is, but I've never seen these tactics of punishments in my life. I'm not gonna hold you though. Me personally, me personally, you put uh, Fortnite OG Fortnite Season Three in my face. Oh yeah, we, we 17 hour tough. We handling those. No, you challenging me with a good time. You put uh, Fortnite Season Three two, through Five, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Put those, put those on. Hey, come on, stop it. Black Ops, come on, stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm telling you, you put the right game in front of me, 17 hours is going to go by like those, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I don't know why you threaten him with a good time, but that's cool. That's cool. It's a weird punishments. All punishments, though, but, you know, I, very, very strange. I'm not going to you. Very, very strange. I don't know what type of punishments these is, but um, for our next, next next story 70 hour lobby light work how, how many how's what's the longest y'all been on the game for for our next 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 story um a very very interesting story we have here chat if you're running away from the police don't run away from the police but if you are running away from the police bro watch where you're going because we have this story of a man drowning in a lake after jumping to escape cops who are looking for someone else I'm not gonna hold you. I don't know how this can even happen, bro. But why was he running if, if they was looking for someone else? I don't, I don't know, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. Maybe he was scared, but it's like this was just bad tactics. I don't think bro was looking at where he was going. Um, I don't know to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Blue Rye, he, 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 he was, he was, he was, he was. That's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna hold you, but um. RP to him though. RP to him though. That's that's it's kind of crazy. He I, I'm not gonna lie, he probably actually did something. That's why he was low-key running. Cause I can't find any other reason why he was actually like really running. Um for our next 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 story today. YNW Melly. This double murder retrial is officially set to begin on October 2nd. So in a couple months, he's getting another trial. Again, ask y'all the same question. Do you think YNW Melly will be free? Yes or no? If you don't know, YNW Melly is being charged for the death of the killing his two best friends. So uh, we will see what happens in that second trial. For our next, 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 next story. Chat, now, I don't know if y'all know this, but it is an evil 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 world we live in bro evil world we live in i'm not gonna hold you sometimes we see people hating and i know hating is applauded now but this is not the type of hating that we co-sign here i'm not gonna hold you because a woman is goes viral for saying she gets turned off when she sees a man happy and enjoying himself this looks like a dead by daylight screenshot but let's go ahead and see exactly what she said let's hear her out and let's see what she says uh, regarding it, because this is my first time actually seeing the video. I've seen her face before and never seen the video. So let's see what she actually says. What's the craziest thing you got the ick for? I don't like to see happiness sometimes. I don't know. I just saw a man like smiling, <laughs> like, you know, after a party when you're popping balloons and like he was popping the balloon and he was like playing with it before he popped it. And I looked over and I was just like, mm, all the sexual tension leaving the room. <laughs> The fuck he supposed to do? The the fuck he did like niggas can't be happy no more. You know you just not attracted to him no more because he's happy. Dog, I'm not gonna hold you, chat. Y'all gotta be careful out here, bro. Y'all gonna let women's looks take over y'all life, bro? Because how how I don't even know how this is a, is this is a real conversation. I don't even believe this is a real person. This is just a I, like just off the first screenshot we've seen. I think this is an AI generated bot that's just been put here to test humanity, and I think it's working. I'm not gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? 156 ick happiness. Jesus Christ, bro. So this is why you're single, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's my fault. At least you know, bro. At least you know. I'm not gonna hold you. 
At least she know. I don't know if she's trying to do some, some stand-up comedy act, but we are not laughing. Amako Uji, you are a fucking loser. Literally. What? You know what, Amako Uji? I feel like it's not normalized enough. I feel like it's not normalized enough. I feel like, like, dudes be, get, be, be getting called losers a lot, and then nobody bats an eye, but we just fail to call some people who are losers, losers. Let's not keep the word loser gender locked. Women can be losers too, and this woman right here is a fucking loser. So, um, Mama Uji, just want to put this out here. I just want to put this out here. Just want to put this out here, because that's actually insane, I'm not gonna you. That is, That's actually so, so, so crazy, I'm not gonna hold um, But tell us what you think in the comments down below. For our next, next, next story. For our next, next, next story today. A devoted wife, devoted wife, continues to care for her husband after traumatic brain injury, bro. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. That's fire. That's that's what we want to see, bro. That's 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 what we want to see, bro. I'm not gonna hold you, W wife, bro. Oh, wait. Um, hold on. I messed. I, I left something out. Um. I, I've read a little bit of it wrong. It says, devoted wife continues to care for her husband after traumatic brain injury, and so does her new husband. Oh, okay. I see what we're doing here. This is some TLC shit. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Wow. I'm not gonna hold you. This is, this is pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna hold, like, that's, that's pretty... Damn, it's tough. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Funny thing is, bro, I, this is actually pretty fucked up because I don't even think bro knows what's going on right now. I don't even think I don't even think bro knows what's really going on right now. This is actually this is actually pretty fucked up. I'm not gonna lie to you. Is there a video? I once thought I would never meet somebody who could love me and love Brandon. I mean, who's gonna want to take on somebody who still loves their former husband? But James surpassed all my dreams I had of how a fu future partner could love Brandon. James has never expressed or shown any jealousy. He's never questioned my unwavering love for Brandon or given pause to the role B plays in our family. Instead, he's accepted Brandon with wide open arms. I've overheard him proudly sharing the story of our family and how Brandon fits in it. With a grateful heart, I oh stepped aside as James God. has insisted on taking up his work today, doing the heavy lifting. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and tell the lonely, grieving woman in her early 20s that this story isn't over. That even though you can't fathom what life could be like, I promise it gets better. It gets Why is she putting this D Disney Channel high school musical ass music at the end? Like we about to think there's some kind of inspirational ass story. What is this? Better. Even though you are wandering in the wilderness and there's wasteland all around you, someday, someday, there's going to be a path in that wilderness and a stream in the wasteland. Just hold on. Wow. Not gonna lie. Um, that is actually fucked up i'm not gonna lose you that's actually pretty fucked up i'm not gonna lie if you think about it because first of all bro don't even fully grasp what's going on that's that's one two of course the husband doesn't give a fuck in three uh, i'm talking about her new husband of course the new husband doesn't actually give a fuck in three i'm not gonna hold you bro she couldn't take care of him her husband by herself, so she got a new husband, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I don't wish this upon nobody, bro. That's crazy. But I guarantee, I guarantee, somebody gonna say I'm hating. Oh my god! Do you know that actually this is such a beautiful thing? Do you know that this is a beautiful thing? Because technically, if you think about it, it's a beautiful thing. Because overall, uh, this is this is shows true love. Love holds no bounds, even when when, when it's between multiple. I promise you. I promise you. That's 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 how it's going to be. Um. Jesus Christ. For our next 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 story. 
for today. For our next, next, next story chat. That is, that is just insane. I'm not going to lose you. Our next story. The man who spent 20K to, this, uh, to transform himself into a border collie steps out for the first time ever to walk in public. That's a dog if y'all don't know. Um, we've seen Tub talk about this. Blue Ride had seen Tub talk about this. This is Toko, the human dog. A man who has dedicated his life to dressing up as a dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally. And living as a dog. Not only dressing up as a dog, living as a dog. Um, I'm not gonna lose you. Ah, Jesus Man, I really feel like we in the end times, bro. Grown ass man. Every single day I I, I I continue, bro. I really just think, damn, Thanos was spitting, bro. God, God, yo, I feel like Thanos was really misunderstood. I feel like we should have gave, like, really took the time to hear out what Thanos was talking about, bro. It's it's every single day I look at news, bro. It's every single day I look at news. I feel like we should have just took the time to really understand what Thanos was really talking about. I feel like we ain't give bro a fair shot. It's too late now, but like I feel like we didn't really get bro a fair shot when when he was when he was like talking his shit. Um. I don't even know what to say, man. I don't even want to. I don't. I'm not gonna lose you. I really just don't want to stream no more, bro. I'm not gonna. Hold. Okay. Uh, for our next, next, next story. For our next story, Rockstar Games has finally, finally come out with everything we have been waiting for, bro. We, our prayers have finally been answered. I know we've all been asking, when is it coming out? It's taking years. When is it actually, actually, finally, finally, finally coming out? The wait is fucking over. Finally, Rockstar Games is dropping. Red Dead Redemption Remastered Sue. Let's go, Tad. Let's, let's, let's go, man. Let's go. That's what we've been waiting for, man. This, what, 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 what? It's what? It, not what we waiting for. We haven't. It's not what we waiting for. We, it's not. What we, oh, oh, oh y'all thought GTA. Oh, y'all thought it was GTA Six. Oh. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, we like Red Dead, though, right, chat? The fact that these niggas can do Red Dead Redemption remastered, but not, but not um, GTA Six is crazy. I'm not gonna lose you. That's actually so, so, so crazy. I'm not gonna lose you. Um, you doing everything but releasing GTA Six? I don't even. I'm not even surprised no more, bro. If I'm keeping that stat with you, um, I'm a graduate before GTA 6 comes out. For our next, next, next story today, Subway currently right now is offering free sandwiches for life to someone who is willing to legally change their first name to Subway. Now, how many y'all in chat are considering changing your name to Subway? to get free foot longs or six inches if you went to that 
for life. You know what I'm saying? How many of y'all actually, actually considering that? Me, no way. Me. It's done. Me, yes, I'm gonna do that. Imagine you change your name and he like, nah, the deal's over. Or like, nah, somebody already did it, so it's too late. Now your name's just Subway and you just roam the streets as a motherfucker named Subway. It's crazy. To be fair though, there's been uh, dumber names out there, so, you know. Um, For our next, next, I'm still in. For our next, Rose Session will be fire. For our next, next, next story, chat. For our next, next, next story. Um, Y'all want to see a miracle live on stream right now? A miracle? Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Logical, what the hell, who cares? All I know is I'm so happy when you're dancing there. Magic! Ma magic! Motherfuckers is using Salem Witch Trials tactics in 2023. And, 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 and we just can do nothing but just look at this. Magic, bro. Uh, so, Michael, this is kind of ridiculous. Michael, who is you? This is this is this is kind of ridiculous, bro. Um. <sighs> How does she have? Wait, what the? F How she? How she got? How she got? Wait, how? Bro, she has no teeth here. Nigga said it's the old. It's it's a filter. Is it? Does a filter remove teeth? Oh, it's logical. What the hell? Who cares? All I know is I'm so happy when you're dancing there. That's not a filter. I hope it's a filter. I'm gonna take y'all word for it. I hope it's a filter. I hope it. I hope it's a filter. I'm gonna take y'all word for it, man. I'm gonna take y'all. I'm gonna take y'all word for it. I'm. A, I'm actually gonna hold on. In fact, let's go ahead and see if it's a filter or not. I, I'm actually going My think my life would be better if it's a filter. Uh, hold on. Let me see. Let's just let's, let's we're gonna hope it's a filter. If it's a filter, I think everybody would be a lot more. Oh my god! Wow, the sun is just, yo, it was so sunny outside today, Chad. I don't know if y'all went outside today, but it's so sunny, bro. The air is so, like, airy. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Y'all know, um, did y'all know that it's supposed to hit, like, like 105, bro? When I was in Texas, it was, like, 110 out there. It was really hot as fuck out there. That's crazy. That's tough. Um, wow. Wow. Look at the time. Look at the time. Damn, it's late. It's getting late, don't y'all think? Um, anyways, though. For our, <laughs> for our next, next, next story for today, today, today. Man opens up about the struggles of dating in Los Angeles after getting stood up on a date. Let's go ahead and see uh, this man's struggles and see if anybody can relate with him in chat. Let's go ahead and see. So I just left a restaurant after waiting 30 minutes for a date to show up. And apparently I got stood up. I don't know what to say. Like I'm trying to do everything right to be a gentleman. I brought flowers. I've been consistent talking with this girl for two weeks, trying to get to know what she likes, what she doesn't like. I made plans. I picked the restaurant, the day and the time. You know, I've done everything to be just the kind of guy that would value somebody's time. Like I just, I'm just looking for my person. I'm just looking for the one that I guess is out there for me. I mean, I want to be somebody's husband someday, father. 
trying to do everything. Like, bro, bro, genuinely sad. Like, I, I, I can't not feel. I can't feel bad, bro. Yo, you can't not but feel bad for bro. Like, bro is actually like, like he's genuinely like sad. Right, I just get stood up. Like, my feelings didn't even matter. Sitting there eating a meal by myself and realizing that nobody even cares about people anymore. Like, LA dating shouldn't even be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard to find somebody. It shouldn't be this difficult to fall in love. To be to kind to one another. Like, what? Ladies, tell me, what did I do wrong? That's tough, bro. Oh, I, go, I really do feel bad for bro because it seemed like bro was really excited about the date. Y'all had, y'all ever been really excited to, like, do something and then that shit like your plans get ruined somehow that's probably it's probably up there for him bro it's like going like maybe y'all was going to a beach on the 27th and then that joint got canceled it was like damn like bro was really excited now i feel like bro need to go focus on himself maybe maybe because of this whole bus of getting another date but i think he need to focus on himself for a little bit you know what i'm saying that yeah, a little bit of focusing on yourself never hurt nobody so or maybe bro just need to focus on himself for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's just it's just not meant to be. But hey, you dodged the bullet though. And she stands you up on a date. She'll do worse to you if you was in a relationship. So you dodged the bullet though. W W W man's. Um, I'm not gonna hold you. This is just me. I think everybody who stands anybody who will stand somebody up on a date actually needs to be like arrested for at least a year. Um, in Bubba's prison too. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, like, it's one thing if you tell somebody, yo, I'm not going to be able to make it, or yo, I just don't fuck with you. I just simply don't fuck, I just don't want to go on a date, I'm not going to lie to you. I did, but I don't no more. But, like, niggas, if you ever get there, bro, get to the date, sit down, and then, like, you expecting it, and then you waiting, and he not there, then that's a whole different situation. I'm not going to lose you, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like everybody who purposely stands people up on dates need, like, at least one year in solitary confinement. But maybe that's just me, I ain't going to cap um let me see next story though next story have you ever met bubba i've met bubba a couple times um for our next 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 story for today uh the streamer known as i show speed i has been seen swollen you know what i'm saying on some on some real shit bro i hope bro gets better i hope bro gets better i'm not gonna hold you so apparently this is what I'm hearing. I don't know if this is facts because I haven't been paying too much attention to the situation because I've been at DreamCon. But I heard it's called, is it cluster headaches? Is that what it's called, chat? The cluster headaches? Um, Is that, that what he has? Now, I've heard of cluster headaches before. I'm not going to hold you. When you stress yourself out and you, like, move around so much, and y'all know that boy speed be moving. Oh, by the way, the comment is crazy. I'm not going to hold you. But... Um, when you move around so much, bro, when you're traveling to one place to another place to another place to another place to another place and you stretch yourself out so much and you work so hard, I'm like, I'm not, I've never seen it happen to nobody that I know, but I've heard of this happening before. I'm not going to cap to you. So, um, I hope speed gets better. I heard he back in the hospital. So I hope bro get better. Cause like when you grind in as hard as, as bro do to be everywhere and do everything and even now bro still wants to stream i do actually like really genuinely feel bad for bro so hopefully bro gets better you know what i'm saying because that looks crazy like cluster headaches just sounds horrible a cluster headache sounds like awful i'm not gonna capture you but um prayers out prayers out for our next 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 story um Florida. Why wouldn't it be in Florida? Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it be in Florida? Where else would this be at? Why is this news? Why is why is this news? Why is this news, man? Why is this news, bro? For our next 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 story today, chat. Beyond the Spider-Verse, 
which was originally set to be to release on March 29, 2024, no longer has a release date as the actor's strike continues. soon chat it'll come out soon trust 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 it'll come out soon chat it's gonna come out soon chat trust can, can whoever need to pay okay hold on can whoever need to pay the actors pay my actors Okay, this I swear this writer strike has been going on for a, a while, and realistically, we know why it's going on. Can they pay the actors, please? Just pay them, bro. How long we doing this? Just pay the actors already, bro. Like I swear this dream has been going. It felt like this dream been going on for at least a decade now, and it's only been like a couple months, bro. Just pay them, bro. I can't. We can't keep doing this, bro. Pay them, bro. Please, bro. Start treating my niggas the right way, bro. Cause we can't keep doing this. Yo, who I who I gotta go talk to, chat? I'm gonna go handle it. I'd be mad too. I don't pay. Oh no, we know why it's going on. Trust, 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 trust. We not we not mad that this shit going on, my nigga. Um, but just pay that. Like, just get these niggas right. Start paying these niggas. Start respecting these niggas. Cause it's like, bro, like, what's going on, bro? Like, just start like, I don't know. Um, you got connections? Oh, chat. I'm gonna handle it. I'm gonna handle it. I'm gonna talk to. I'm gonna talk to my people. And then my people gonna go ahead and talk to the motherfuckers who who need to be paying the people in the writer's strike. So my people gonna talk to their people. We're gonna get a handle though, trust. We're gonna get it, we're gonna get a handle though, trust, trust, trust. Give me like give me like a week, we're gonna get that shit handled. Trust, 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 trust. Um, for our next 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 story. The Mona Lisa would look like this today, according to AI. Now, as y'all may know, the Mona Lisa is an iconic, iconic, wholesome, wholesome painting from long ago. And in today's time, it would just be the most wholesome, like, creative... Yeah! Like, come on, man. Like, god damn, bro. Like, why do you do this, bro? 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 They know they wrong for this, bro. They know they dead. They know they dead ass wrong for this, bro. Bro. Like y'all serious, bro? <laughs> isn't it crazy how we have evolved, chat? Isn't it isn't it crazy how we evolved, bro? She was already bad, there's no need for this. For our next 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 story. Please I need to buy it. Jesus Christ. For our next, next, next story, Drake found a bigger bra on stage. This time, a 36L. Drake is just the bra bounty uh, hunter at this point. You know what I'm saying? 36L? Huh? How many 
many letters does it go up to? L? L is crazy. What does that mean? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L? There's another one over there that looks big, but we'll talk about it later. I gotta talk to you first. We got another personal conversation. This is crazy. This can't be real. Whose is this? This is not real. Whose is this? Where did this 36 come from? L, your back must feel crazy. Your back has to hurt, bro. Nah, this is custom work right here. Oh, this is a 42H. Another 42H. I'm not gonna lose you. As a, uh, as a, as a woman, why are you throwing your bras at a Drake concert? Why, why, why is this becoming a trend now? Like, as a woman, why are you doing that? I would throw my panty suit if I was at the Drake concert, so I get it. But, um, anyways, though, let's, let's, let's keep moving. Forget about any of that. But, uh, for our next, next, next story that we're moving on to, um, a man known for high-rise stunts is dead after falling 60 from the 68th floor in Hong Kong. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I, I told y'all stop doing these high rise stunts. You know what I'm saying? I stop doing those. I'm not gonna hold you. I guess people like to see it, but like me personally, you're not gonna catch me doing those. So y'all be careful out here. R.I.P. to bro. Uh, you ain't deserve to go out like that, but like that's crazy. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, for our next 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 story. The Island Boys come out as gay weeks after kissing his brother. They are an incestuous uh, gay couple now. I'm not going to go ahead and play the video. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm not going to go ahead and play the video. But there goes that piece of news. But I'm not going to go ahead and play the video. Um... For our next, next, next story, Paul Rubens, actor best known as Pee Wee Herman, passes away at 70, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all don't know nothing about Pee Wee Herman, but I know y'all heard my, my nigga name before, so R.P. Pee Wee, you know what I'm saying? R.P. R.P., you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all see, see what my man said? He said the streets fucked up with this one, too, and y'all understand how much Pee Wee Herman was valid in every hood, you know what I'm saying? Like... Bro was badly everywhere, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. If you don't, you just don't know, you know what I'm saying? For our next, 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 next story. Bro, chat. I was in the airport. I told you I was going to be a big news day. I was in the airport when this happened, chat. I was so, so, so sick when I heard this, bro. I was in the airport when I heard that my dog, Angus Cloud, passed away at 25. Bro, I'm not gonna hold you. I was actually hurt. I'm not gonna. Lose you. I was in the airport getting ready. I was with Tommy and them. I was getting ready to go back, uh, going ready to go back and leave Austin. And I had hurt this. Bro, I was actually hurt, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. I was, I was dead ass hurt. You know what I'm saying? Fesco, my girl Maddie, and maybe one other character I can't name at this point in time is one of the few people that made the show bearable you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna hold you because most of the time i was pissed off watching that show but like bro i'm not gonna hold you it, it was really 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 like a thing where i was i don't know bro like you know what i'm saying i was just really hurt to to really hear that that's what really happened here, you know what I'm saying? Where's my phone at? You know what I'm saying? I was really hurt, chat. I was really, I was very, 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 very hurt. Um, so RIP to him, bro. I'm not gonna hold you, chat. We gotta go take mental health very, very seriously, bro. If you need to go talk to somebody, make sure you go talk to somebody, bro. Make sure you go talk to somebody. Talk to who you need to. Whoever, whoever you need to go talk to, bro. Make sure you go talk to somebody. Cause I know I heard that his, uh, his father had passed away you know what i'm saying like i heard that his his father had passed away like a week ago and then this week this will happen you know what i'm saying so he seemed like a really cool dude though he seemed like a really cool dude though you know what i'm saying so um he seemed like a really cool dude though so r.i.p to him for so r.i.p to him for so okay for our next 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 story for our next 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 story today chat 
vegan raw food diet influencer Zahana Dart passes away of starvation at age 39. All right, Pete, to that woman. Um, be very, very careful out here with y'all diet chat. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not safe out here. Y'all be very, very careful with y'all putting in y'all body, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, sometimes we just need a little bit more. Um, for our next story, a man called Gunna a rat and gets confronted by security. Now, I know everybody's been talking about this video today, but I have not spoken on this video. So, I, well, I, not, I haven't seen this video, so let's go ahead and see. Look at Gunna a rat. Take him out. I said, look at Gunna. Nah, nah, what you said for that? Whatever I wanted to say, brother. Nah, why you can't repeat it? I said, I want you to repeat it. Check him out. I said, I want you to repeat it. So you can look for Rich, I do something. I said, I want you to repeat it. So I can the hell out of y'all. I don't give a fuck. How do you talk about a? How do you call in somebody a snitch and then proceed to snitch? <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lose you. Whenever you see a motherfucker start recording, look at this. Look at him. Y'all remember when the motherfucker did that to uh, did that to the baby? Y'all remember when that happened? Hold on. Can I can I find that video? RP Cam Cohort. But y'all, I know y'all remember when that happened. Hold on. Um. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, you a bitch. Y'all look at this nigga the baby. That, that nigga the baby in here talking some shit. He walking up on me and shit like he about to do something. What you don't do? What you taking your shit off? I've never seen a camera shake this much in my life. I'm not going to hold you. But... Walking up on me and shit like he about to do something. Is this edited in? I don't what remember this video do? being what this shaky. What you taking your shit off for? Cody. Get away. You scared ass nigga. Get away. Get away. You so scared, boy. Oh, I'm make them go fire. Come buy your shit, don't be scared. Come buy your shit. 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 Quit playing with me, boy. Pick your pants up, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Fuck wrong with him. Look like you need. I'm telling y'all, it's always the motherfuckers who record on their phone like that who get checked just instantly. You know what I'm saying? That bro wanna go talk about suing. That's crazy. Look at him, short. Look. Nigga gutted a rat. That is crazy. That, I'm mean, to be fair. Most of the people y'all see in academics comment sections and every comment section who be calling, oh my god, we don't fuck with them rats. Fuck Gunner, he's a rat. That's how most of them act in real life. Like they would never actually approach like they would never actually approach the nigga and actually do something to him. Cause the nigga's just scared. I ain't gonna hold you, but like that's actually tough. That's actually tough. I would I wouldn't have been mad at broke out, you know. Um Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is suing. Mr. Beast is suing. The company behind Mr. Beast Burger, the people who actually are creating the food, the parent company, they're suing that company for making like disgusting items and disgusting meals that has tarnished their brand. Have y'all ever had Mr. Beast Burger before? Anybody had actually had um, Mr. Beast Burger before? Anybody? Anybody had Mr. Beast Burger before? No, 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 never tried it, never tried it, never tried it. I've tried it once. It was like extremely mid, like, like very, very mid, like top tier mid. I'm not going to lose you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but shout out to Mr. Beast. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Beast, I still would like my a million in ones, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? Chinese Zoo denies suggestions that some of its bears are dressed as humans dressed in costumes. Wait, what? Dressed humans dressed in costumes. Hold on, we gotta go ahead and see for ourselves. I I highly doubt there's any humans dressed as as, as bear costumes. Is that? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs>
Y'all got it, bro. Never mind. Never mind. That's a whole nigga. That's a whole nigga in that costume, bro. Never mind, bro. Never mind, bro. Never mind, bro. That's a that's a whole nigga in that costume, bro. Yeah. That's a it's a sun bear. Bro, he's standing on two legs, bro. Look up Sun Bear. The nigga's standing on two legs, chat. Hold on, let me see Sun Bear. I've never seen a Sun Bear, so maybe this Sun Bear is actually standing on two legs. Like, hold on. Okay, so they do stand on two legs. So this is what the actual animal would look like. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it back to Instagram. Hello, animals .com. However, uh, Alexa, color can look stri stop, Jesus Christ, bro. Just get the fuck out of here. Stop, Jesus Christ. That, I don't know why it just scared. I don't know why that just scared me. I'm not going to lose you. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So it does stand up on two legs. Why it moving like that? Maybe. <sighs> Maybe it is real, bro. I didn't know about sun bears. I guess you learn something new every day. That joint looks. I'm not gonna lie. That joint looks crazy. If this joint was running at me, if that joint was running at me, I'd be terrified. Though I'm not gonna lose you. That's crazy. Why, bro? Look like that. Hey, shout, shout out to bro, shout out to bro. I can't, I can't, can't hate on, I can't hate on science, bro. Cause I, if, if y'all ain't tell me, I would have think, I would have thought it was nigga in the costume. I'm not gonna lose you. Um, for our next, next, next story today, we only have three more stories. We'll, yeah, we only have two more stories left. Um, for our next story, Trump is indicted for a third time as he is charged for trying to overturn the 2020 election. They can, the girls just can't catch a break. That's tough. That's tough. Um, for our last story for today. Now, we see dumb motherfuckers on the daily. Dumb crimes, specifically in Florida all the time. But this is actually coming out of Mississippi. A man is sentenced to 40 years for breaking out of prison. And he was going to get released in three months. So had he waited three months, he would have got released. But because he didn't, he had to get charged and hit with a 40 year sentence bro am i gonna hold you actual fucking idiot am i being on am i being honest bro i'm not gonna hold you certified dumbass i'm not gonna i'm not even gonna hold you i i you can't even like defend this bro had three months of a seven year sentence left bro he deserves to be in there if we're keeping it all the way stacked he deserves to be in there if we're keeping it all the way on it weather Okay, okay, okay. So let me give y'all a little quick update on weather. So weather has been fluctuating. Um, it has been very, very hot in some areas and a little bit colder in other areas. You know what I'm saying? The south, at least. I was in the south this week. So I can't tell y'all. It has been hot as fuck in the south. 105, 108. It's been hot, bro. It, at, at nighttime, it be 90. Bro, I'm not going to hold you. I can't live in Texas or the south. Y'all got it, bro. It's too hot over there. You know what I'm saying? So, like... It, it, it's, it's, it's really, really different over here. You know what I'm saying? On the East Coast, it's hot as hell, too, on the East Coast, too. You know what I'm saying? If you're on the East Coast, make sure you don't think that shit's sweet out there. I know it's been storming and raining. Don't think that shit's sweet, either. If you're on the West Coast, you know what I'm saying? Now, I've been hearing the West Coast have been fluctuating between, like, 70s and 90s. So, it just really depends on where you're at um, on the West Coast. But, uh, if you're on the South, if you're in the South or the East Definitely, definitely, definitely be careful because it's not even, it's not even funny, bro. I'm not going to lose you. Um, traffic, um, traffic is actually very, 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 very insane. I'm not going to lose you. There is a six foot seven, uh, vampire who can stop time walking down the street with his ass out in broad daylight, but also it's nighttime at the same time. Um, so do what you want with that information, but just avoid that road. What road? I don't know. I didn't tell you any road, but just avoid that road. Trust me, you'll know if you know. But uh, anyways, though, uh, I'm going to see y'all in the next news.
Uh, Keller comes saying, signing out. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>